first episode of the season. So talk about that. It was really intimidating. I, you're the first person who's asked me that. Um, it was very intimidating because, um, not so much because of the directing, because I, I, Paolo, our, our director, really trusted me, and so he was like, hot potato, and he left, <laughs> um, which was hilarious. It was more about, it was the first episode, and we have the rest of the season to shoot, and if I lose respect of the crew, right, I'm in a lot of trouble. So it was, um, that was the pressure. And I remember on the day, it was one of the last scenes, maybe the last scene of the day, and we had a, a set time and we had run over on the rest of the day. And so I had like, not, so it was it was stressful. I got to direct later in the episode, uh, in the season. And then it was just a lot more, people trusted me at that point. They were like, oh, you didn't screw it up the first time. So, so then it was a lot more fun. The first episode though was like <laughs> so uh, how has being a mother changed my notice at one of the world and how has it changed your life you're now working mom yeah. a little one is it a different kind of environment that you want to set and how has having a little kid changed both of us both of you guys I think for both of us uh, <laughs> well, I think for both of us we got right back in to the saddle sort of thing, uh, literally for Winona. And um, and so for me, and I, and I know for Winona actually, um, it, it was and is really important to stay busy because when we stay busy, Winona and I, we can't think too much. And Winona really was like in a lot of pain in last season and in such a dark place and her way of avoiding it or dealing with it is to work and she's because it keeps her mind busy and focused and that was a lot like me and I think um, it was tough it was tough um, I have two kids actually and and so being away from them and shooting there was you know a lot of guilt and but at the same time I know that what I'm doing is so important um, maybe not as important as what Wynone is doing but but it's so important and um, and in a way it, it's, it's a gift and so I think to them so I think um, we both sort of used our work in the same way on the romance front, are we going to see her with, because there was that kiss on the cheek from Dolls at the beginning of the episode, and then she was making out with Dolls at the end. I know. <laughs> so, it's like, she's not pregnant anymore, so it could go either way. There's that, like... Paolo, our director, has this great way of talking about Winona's relationships, which is like, it's like if you're in war, like when Winona's at war, right? She's a soldier. And she's like, she's fighting in a war where this, there's always so much pressure and the stakes are so high. And it's that moment of connection between two people who just need that moment of release. And like that... So I think for Winona, it's like these two men are a moment of release, and they're both. I'm looking at the camera, but I mean to look at you. Uh, sorry, they're so. Um, they're both so um, important to her for different reasons. Dolls is like the guiding light. He's aspirational. He is like who she aspires to be good enough for. Doc is just as messed up with, as her, so it gives her a sense of solace and a sense of like, I have, a, you know, I'm good enough for you because you're just as fucked. Um, so I, I don't want to make her choose. Uh, can you tease a little about uh, Winona's relationship with her mom this season and how becoming a mom has sort of shaped that relationship? Well, what's the most interesting thing to me is that Winona feels like she was left by her mother when she needed her. Winona sent her daughter away. Yeah. So now it's like, I wonder if she realizes yet that she just did the same thing her mother did for different reasons, of course, but it's going to be interesting to explore that. Like, two women, two flawed women who gave up their child, 
What does that look like when they interact? Is there forgiveness there? Is there understanding? Is there resentment? Is there scissoring? <laughs> That's right. That's why you like me. Because I, I say shit like That's that. True. That's very true. There's no scissoring. Spoiler. None. <laughs> is working? Is them working together though against Bolshev going to bring them possibly closer together? Mother and daughter. Yes. <laughs> possibly. Uh, I think um, I think it'll bring everybody closer together. Uh, but Mama Earth is very much an Earth, and that means that she messes up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a soap bomb. Remember that gift? <laughs> <laughs>